And he finds that Americans are feeling optimistic about their finances entering the new decade. Man, how a decade changes everything. So the question is, how can we stay on that right financial track and get things going on the right foot? in 2020 and beyond. Well, John Boroff, he's here to tell us about it. Fidelity Investments is where he's with and he has uh, their latest findings in this new study. How are you, John? Doing well, thanks right. for having me. Uh, well, let's talk about the takeaways from this year's study that you held. Uh, what is, what's, first, first of all, what's motivating people to make these financial resolutions? Yeah, the, the number one response we got with respect to motivation was people wanting to live a debt-free life. That came across pretty clearly. Um, but there were other things like wanting to get control of daily expenses and, of course, preparing for a comfortable retirement was a big one as well. What do you think, because obviously, you know, 10 years ago we were talking, oh my goodness, we're in the middle of a recession, people are losing their homes, uh, debts are at an all-time high. Uh, do you think it's that generation getting a little older and having been through it before and maybe their children having seen what their parents gone through do not want to repeat the, the mistakes of the past? Yeah, that's one way of looking at it. Another way of looking at it is that um, regardless of like the economic situation, uh, one of the interesting findings from the study was that people are really optimistic and they're not completely crediting the economy for that. They're, they're talking about moves that they've made. So I think uh, people are taking more control and being more engaged with their finances um, that is really kind of where we are and what's really helping the most. Which is not a bad thing whatsoever. All right, so what kind of uh, financial moves are people making? Yeah, when we talk about the moves people make, they vary widely, obviously, based on individual circumstances. But again, the one thing we did see really clearly is that people are, are very engaged with their finances right now. And that's evidenced by the fact that 67% of our responders indicated that they were considering making a financial resolution this year versus the 61% who did so last year. In fact, uh, we gave people the option of choosing a financial uh, resolution, something like saving $5,000, or a more lifestyle focused resolution like losing five pounds and people overwhelmingly chose the financial option. Which is pretty solid. Now there are obviously some mistakes uh, that, that people might be concerned about making in the new year when it comes to finances. Is there anything in particular we should try to avoid where we think we're helping but we're actually hurting? Yeah, a common response in, in our survey results was debt. So taking yeah. on additional debt or adding to existing debt. But there were several smaller, more uh, easily addressable concerns. Things like eating out too much, um, t uh, purchasing too many things that are unnecessary, things like subscription services that don't get used, yeah. or paying too much in fees. The biggest concern we found, though, was around unexpected expenses and health care costs. Um, and those can be really difficult to prepare, prepare for. But one thing you can do is establish an emergency fund. And yeah. the great news is 85% of responders to our survey indicated that they plan to start or add to an existing emergency fund this year. Which is pretty sharp. We've seen the uh, numbers come through where, uh, you know, very many people here in America are unable to uh, take a $1,000 uh, emergency. They don't, have, they don't have the money to be able to pay for that. So that would be a great step to getting them uh, out of debt, heaven forbid that were to happen. Uh, any advice to make these financial resolutions stick? I mean, I know trying to lose the weight in the New Year's pretty difficult. How about trying to lose the debt? Yeah, we look to our, our responders for, for the answer to this. So when we look at people who've had success turning these resolutions into long-term good financial habits, two things really stand out to us. The first is planning and goal setting. So you definitely want to have a plan. And it's a great idea to write that plan down. Um, writing the plan down gives you something to refer back to and something to hold yourself accountable to. Mm -hmm. When you talk about goal setting, you want to make sure you have goals that are clear, specific, and most importantly, achievable. And you want to set them up so that you've got milestones built in along the way. So you've got short-term goals, medium-term goals, and long-term goals. The second piece of advice is simpler. It's just let yourself celebrate small victories. The feeling you get when you hit a financial milestone or achieve a financial goal can help create the momentum you need to keep you moving forward. Awesome. John, great talking to you. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. All right. Keep your New Year's resolution to get your financial house in order once and for all. You want to learn more? Visit fidelity.com slash resolutions. Fidelity Investments, a proud sponsor of The Morning Blind.